Hello guys, I'm Lindsay from All Ears English, and in this episode 1311, Michelle and I are going to show you some interesting and native ways to say that you are passionate about something, some hobby or some kind of interest that you have. We'll show you some very natural ways to say what you are interested in. And don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe on this channel if you like getting All Ears English podcast right here. Thanks guys and enjoy this episode. This is an All Ears English podcast episode 1311, how to express your passions in English so that people love you. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 130 million times. We believe in connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York Radio Girl coming to you from Los Angeles and New York City, USA. And to get weekly transcripts delivered to your email inbox, go to allearsenglish.com slash subscribe. When you are able to really express your passions, it makes people feel inspired by you and helps you build that connection. Today, get five cool ways to do it. Hey, Michelle, how you doing? I am good. I'm good. How are you? Well, today is a special, special day. You know why? Why? Because it's my niece's birthday. Oh, Emery. Happy birthday. <laughs> how old is she? She's six. Six oh years. My Can you believe that? I can't believe it. I, I feel that like. That is yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I saw you posted a picture with Emery yes. on uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was so cute. She looks like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys didn't catch that, make sure you're over on our Instagram channel. Go look for the yellow and subscribe because we do share aspects of our own lives. That was on Christmas Day. We all hung out at her house and uh, they got a new dog and it was just so fun. It was oh, so cute. fun. cute. She is just adorable. Yeah. Oh, well, happy <laughs> birthday, Emery. Yeah, it's so cool being an aunt. I have to say it is so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. I agree as an aunt as well. I love it. <laughs> so, Michelle, are you into sports? Um, I do. I wouldn't say I'm like a diehard fan mm. of sports right now. Although when I was younger, I was a diehard New York Knicks fan. And I've shared that on Instagram as well, actually. Um, mm. So I was a diehard fan. But uh, now I, I kind of go with the flow. And I am sometimes but like at my core, I am still that way about yeah. you know basketball but not so much that's so uh, funny it's so funny when yeah when you shared i remember like when you were a kid you said you used to break out in tears when oh. the knicks lost i just find that oh yeah kind of funny <laughs> oh yeah i wish you could have seen it i like thought i was the coach like i was very superstitious <laughs> about the whole thing and i would yell at the tv and i would have like little symbols i would make up that or little sounds i would make in order to try and get the team to make a shot and so yeah anyway uh yeah i was i I was pretty die hard. Are, are you, are you uh, into sports at all? I know uh, you like to go. I like you like the experience of going to a game. Yeah, I like that. But I would definitely say I'm not a not like that a die hard in that sense. But when I was a kid, I was a die hard tennis fan for sure. Mm, because right. like, oh, right. you know, I was learning to play tennis. I was so excited about it. So anytime the US Open was on Wimbledon, the Australian, I would go crazy. I would have to watch every match. I had my favorites. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I was a diehard tennis fan back in the day. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So guys, so I put up an Instagram video a while ago um, about how I love the show Friends. Mm. And someone made a comment and I was so impressed that I just had to do a whole episode on this comment yeah um, so Lindsay, do you want to hear what it was what's the comment what was the comment so it was by liad dongle <laughs> and this person said i'm a diehard ncis fan what's ncis i don't even know do you know mm, <laughs> i don't know i don't it's know one of those i think it's one of those Oh, good question. And um, hmm. don't they have? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, they wanted to know, and I'm gonna look it up right now because that's gonna, <laughs> this is embarrassing. It's, NCIS. You know, it's probably some sitcom because that's the way Netflix mm -hmm. is set up now, right? They they say next episode, next episode. You could sit there and watch ten episodes in a row. It's so bad. <laughs> that's true. I don't think NCIS is a sitcom though. Actually, I think they asked if NCIS was a sitcom. I don't think so. But all right, my okay. computer's going slow. But whatever, whatever. it is, right. we don't know. But anyway. 
something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's something. But anyway, I, you know, guys, sometimes we look through your comments on Instagram where we're like, whoa, you just said something so natural, so native sounding. And so uh, I just had to pick this up because I think it's good to highlight also for our other lens- uh, listeners. So the word is die hard. And this is a really good one. Lindsay, do you say this word? I do. You know what it makes me think of is the battery brand. Wasn't there a brand of batteries called Die Hard was Batteries? It? Back in the 80s, I think there was. I'm oh, pretty sure. And it makes sense. I never heard of that. <laughs> no, if you think, or like the, remember the Energizer Bunny? That was a of whole course. campaign. Yeah, with oh, with batteries. So yeah, different, but it means the same thing, right? Someone who is just constantly with energy for something. So for sure, I, I, I say this sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm a diehard fan of XYZ, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like a huge fan, a gigantic fan. Like, I feel like I frequently hear the word diehard with fan, right? As Mm. our listener said it. I mean, um, so we're going to really talk about that today. But um, by saying this person is a diehard NCIS fan, it means they really love this show. Yeah. And so maybe when it comes to the iOS app, maybe we'll highlight that as a chunk. Who knows, right? Maybe that's more useful for our listeners. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And that reminds me, guys. Yeah, today we're going to be going into a lot Yes. of uh, good vocabulary, different ways to say you're, you really like something, right? Mm-hmm. So today is going to be, you guys, every week I go through and I pick out, you know, the best words for you. Yes. Uh, I try. I try to get the best ones, right? <laughs> and um, so I work hard to uh, find those. And, and those are amazing because they go into your personal power vocabulary list on our All Ears English app. Mm -hmm. And we, you are going to want to get that because you are going to get all these words from today and all the words from all the other episodes. And you're going to be able to pick the ones that are important to you so that you can remember them all in one place. Yes. I love that. I mean, it's not like going to a website where you can't personalize it. This time you can personalize it in your own way, in your own version of the app, right? Your personal app. And, you know, you have it for, you know, forever. Basically, as long as you are a member of the app, you have that list for you. Okay, guys. Definitely, definitely. So guys, to get that, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash bonuses. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah. So this is a good word. I mean, it's super natural and native. That's for sure. That's for sure. I mean, it's it's much different than just saying I love the show NCIS, mm. right? It's just different. It's just it sounds like a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun sounding, right? Yeah. So I could say I'm a diehard Friends fan or I could say my friend is a diehard Beyonce fi- fan, something yeah. like that. Yeah, this would be a great one for the IELTS too, right? You guys know that we have a whole nother podcast, IELTS Energy, and we do um, we do show you how to move beyond that six, right? How to get that seven. And this is the way to do it. Don't say I love this. Say I'm a diehard fan of this, of this thing, whatever it is, okay? That differentiates you in the examiner's mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just to bring up one slightly different version of this word, um, it's uh, actually, I'm going to quote the dictionary on this. Merriam-Webster says okay. it's also especially strongly resisting change. So for oh. example, mm-hmm. you could say something like, well, this is for me personally, and actually, Lindsay, you too. Yeah. I'm a Die hard city girl. I'm <laughs> never moving to the suburbs. Oh, yeah. I bet our listeners remember when we had this conversation a few yeah. months ago, right? I remember. <laughs> right, right, right. So that's another usage. Um, so that's another way that you could use it, just like something that you're like really too, like, like deep in your soul. That's what you mm. are. I'm a die hard city girl. Or even with politics, you could say, like, I'm a die hard, you know, liberal. I'm a die hard, whatever it is. To express your passion, it's all about vocabulary. That's why we built the iOS app. You can create your own personal vocab power list according to the words you want to be able to use. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash bonuses on your iOS device and download it now. See you there. Yeah, it's also a very American style to exact kind of there, there's a na- oh, yeah. there's an aspect of exaggeration in this a little bit, right? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've done other episodes in the past, guys, about how in American English, we tend to exaggerate, whereas in British English, they may yeah. downplay things this is fascinating that whole topic. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love that. So guys, how else can we express this? Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, we're going to talk about a, a couple of them you can use like kind of in both definitions, but mostly I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll get it in, into it in just a second. So what's the first 
word, Lindsay. Okay. So the word fanatic. I mean, that's, I mm. guess that's where the word fan came from. And I actually didn't even realize that until like five years ago. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. yeah. So I think this was more used like just like saying you like something. I don't know yeah. if I would say like I'm yes. a, I'm a, I don't know if I would say like I'm a, I'm a city fanatic. I don't know. That would, no, I agree I with know. you. No, I agree. I think that that's probably where the word originated from, but I don't yeah. think, I don't think today they mean the same thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the important point. It just means you're crazy about something, right? Like, for example, when it comes to New York Knicks. Uh, I'm a New York Knicks fanatic. Yeah, I can tell. (laughs) And you're a New York Knicks fan right that's right yes so it's just kind of making it even more than a regular fan i'm a fanatic it's like i'm obsessed with them right (laughs) i love it this next one super common kind of in style right now well it's Mm. been in style for a while hardcore um Mm. so for example i follow my favorite singer on the country i'm a hardcore fan okay Mm -hmm. or or you could just say i'm hardcore what does that mean (laughs) yeah just like yeah i'm 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 hardcore like i'm a I'm, it's basically just saying I'm a big, big fan of this person. You could just leave off fan in that example. Yeah. Um, I think it could also mean something on its own, but I'm not quite sure what. But yeah. um, mm-hmm. And like, also, I feel like the whole other definition, this one kind of works there. Like if I said, like, I'm a hardcore city girl, you know? For sure. For sure. So this is a really natural way, guys. I mean, if you were to use this word in particular around a native speaker, they would smile. They would feel connected to you because you're speaking the same language, literally and metaphorically. Right. Right. <laughs> Right, right, right. Exactly. Okay, we have two more for you guys. What's the first one, Lindsay? All right. So freak. So for example, (laughs) also someone who's just crazy about something. I'm a total Mm. soup freak. I eat it every (laughs) day. I'm a coffee freak, I would say. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yep. Chocolate freak. I mean, a lot of things, kind of certain vices, I guess you could say. Right. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So that's a good one. And then the last one is more formal sounding, very formal sounding. I imagine, I don't know, sitting with the queen when I say this for some reason. Yeah. Um, As an enthusiast, like I could say I'm a Broadway enthusiast. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. I don't think I'd use it, but I definitely think some people do. And yeah, maybe you'd see it written somewhere. Um, But you should know it, guys. You should definitely know it. For sure. And guys, again, you want to get that... um, personal vocabulary power list yeah right because all of these words can be found on this list you can add them to your own list the ones that you want Mm -hmm. um so these will definitely be on there so again go to all earsenglish.com slash bonuses for that awesome so do we have a role play michelle for this let's do it yeah all right here we go okay so michelle you want to come to the coldplay concert with me i know you're a diehard fan Oh, uh, I used to be, but not as much lately. I'm not as hardcore as I once was. Too bad. I'm still a fanatic. Well, if you want, that night there's a new Broadway show. I have two tickets to if you want to join me. Sorry, Michelle. I'm a diehard concert goer, especially to Coldplay shows. I'll go with you another time. <laughs> okay, you know me. I'm a live music freak, but I'm trying something new. I'll be a Broadway enthusiast before you know it. <laughs> Coldplay. Have you ever been to a Coldplay concert? No, have no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I think I listened to them briefly back in the 90s, maybe the mid 2000s or something. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, cool. So, what did we do here, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go through it. So, you asked if I wanted to go to Coldplay concert, and you said, you know, I'm a diehard fan, right? Yeah. That means a really big fan. Yeah. And then you said, I'm not as hardcore as I once was. So, that's cool. So, that way you're using it in that way on its own right Um, right and it kind of means just like i'm not as intense about it yeah yeah i think a good uh synonym for hardcore is intense yeah 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 Mm -hmm. um and then you said too bad i'm still a fanatic yeah and you're playing around with that word i'm making fun of myself a little bit i'm Mm lighthearted banter here so it's all kind of light and fun here guys all right um, mm-hmm. and then I said, I'm a diehard concert goer. Okay. So I use this in kind of, sorry to interrupt. I use That's this okay. in kind of a little bit of the other definition as well. I mean, it kind of, it's, it kind of all mixes together, yeah. guys, but in this way, it's like, oh, I, I'm resist. I, I, I like, I'm not going to change this about ah. myself. It's like who I am. Ah, okay. Like a kind of, it's a durable quality you're saying. Right, okay. right, right, right. Interesting. That's good. I mean, and I think we can also get a sense of pride when we express these things too, right? Maybe we go to a meetup and we want to say, who are we? What are the things that we absolutely love and always have loved, right? So you guys should really practice using these phrases so that you can show the world who you are, okay? 
I love it. I love it. Yeah. So then I said, I'm a live music freak, which is, I don't know. It's just a funny sounding word, but you'll hear it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And then you said, and then we got fancier, right? Having tea with the queen. We said, yes. I'll be a Broadway enthusiast before you know it. Um, and again, awesome. I wouldn't use it in conversation. It sounds too formal for me, but you can see it written in places and some people might say it. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Again, guys, we don't always learn stuff for what we are going to say. Sometimes Mm -hmm. we learn it to because we know that we're going to hear it around. Mm -hmm. And if we choose that we want to say it, we can say it. But maybe Lindsay doesn't say it. Maybe I do say it. Right. I mean, I I don't. But (laughs) just for (laughs) example, but other right. Just as an an example. So awesome. But these are all really good uh, words to say that you're kind of an intense fan or really into something. Um, And this was all inspired by our Instagram follower who used that word. And I just had to snatch it up and do a whole episode about it. It. So guys, we are watching your comments. <laughs> we definitely are. <laughs> and I mean, that just one more thing. That's why the app is so cool because you can choose your own style. So you can see what mm-hmm. the word means. You can choose the words that are highlighted, see what they mean and decide, do you want to add that to your vocabulary right. or do you want to pass it up and move right. on to the next option? You create your vocabulary with the app, guys. Very cool. Awesome. Lindsay, so what's the takeaway for today? Well, guys, you got to be able to show the world that you're a fan of something, right? And you need to be able to say it, not just I like or I don't like, right? That's so boring. Show yeah. your your colors, right? Show your passion, especially in the US. We love that. And I think in general, on a human level, Michelle, it kind of makes you sort of fall in love with a person if they're excited about mm-hmm. something. I mean, not yeah. romantically, oh, yeah. but in a more like, um, in, in a sense, like a friendship sense. Like it makes you right. be fascinated with someone if they can show you right. what they're passionate about. Is that your experience too? Oh, yeah, for sure. It, it just it makes somebody interesting. It's like, oh, why? Like, why? Like, what What about them makes that like that thing? Or what's yeah. their life story? How did they get into that? You know, it just it's exciting. Yeah, it opens up a much better connection. So guys, try to use these words and let us know how it goes. <laughs> All right, Lindsay, this has been a fun one. So I will talk to you later. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. If you are taking IELTS this year, get your estimated band score with our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com slash my score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.